Good morning, friends of Filecoin. Welcome to the first in real life gathering of the Filecoin community here in Korea. I am Clara Tao, the founding officer of the Filecoin Foundation. And I am so excited to have all of you guys here with us today. I wanted to start off by talking about IPFS and Filecoin and how it's changing the way the internet is built. IPFS lets you create an immutable reference to your content, regardless of where your content lives. And Filecoin is a perfect complement as a highly resi resilient decentralized network aiming at storing internet scale data at hyper competitive prices. In fact, last time I checked, we're around 1 100th the cost of AWS. Today, IPFS and Filecoin are laying the groundwork for Web3, and it's the only storage solution that is built to scale with the metaverse. But first, I want to talk about the Filecoin Foundation. The Filecoin Foundation is one of a team of nearly 60 people around the world and one of many groups in the Filecoin ecosystem, making Filecoin the go-to source of decentralized storage not just only in the world, but also in the universe. We actually recently launched a partnership with Lockheed Martin to bring IPFS to space. And, and we are not doing this alone. Today we have a lot of large scale programs to support new app developers, engaging over 10,000 developers through hackathons, awarding more than 230 developer grants in just the last 12 months alone. And thanks to a bunch of partner accelerators, we're helping teams transform and build their experiments using Filecoin or IPFS into high impact businesses. We've graduated um, tons of teams in 2021 and we're set to graduate over 100 by the end of this year. We're also seeing such incredible developer traction through GitHub contributors, forks, and other developer metrics. In fact, Filecoin is one of the top five most actively developed blockchain protocols in all of Web3. And how are startups using Filecoin today and what are they building? Well, apps like Audius for everyone here that is a music fan is a decentralized streaming platform built for musicians and not just the ones signed to big labels. Audius actually recently landed a deal with TikTok to let artists upload their music to TikTok to be used in videos. And this is all done using IPFS. We also have apps like Huddle, which is a decentralized video streaming platform that are opening up new ways in rural areas to people who don't have strong internet connectivity connectivity to do video conferencing. We also have partners like Numbers Protocol that are building a decentralized photo network that gives unique content identifiers to each photo uploaded to the firework and uh, to the network and also guards against important things like online disinformation and content manipulation. We also have partners like Slate, which makes it so easy to upload and store data on Filecoin um, that is similar to a traditional Web2 tool like Dropbox or Google Drive. And this is also something that we're seeing a lot of interest from creators to use. And finally, our hosts here today, Secure Finance, um, they are an inner bank grade financial transaction platform with automatic collateral management and market to market mechanisms. And they are such important partners of ours um, across the ecosystem. I also wanted to share an announcement that is so exciting that we're sharing more later this year, Filecoin Virtual Machine which is bringing to life decentralized storage with smart contracts uh, capability. Filecoin virtual machine actually unlocks all kinds of possibilities on Filecoin, from pro programmable storage primitives to cross-chain inoperability, to bridges to other protocols across Solana, Ethereum, and also Near. And if you stick around, you'll also hear a little bit um, from other speakers today about FEM. Uh, I also wanted to share some network stats as of this month. So today, like I mentioned before, we have over 4,000 storage providers around the world contributing storage capacity to the Filecoin network. In fact, our storage capacity has grown up to 18 exabytes of storage. That's over 1% of total cloud storage capacity globally. And for context, that's large enough to, sh to actually load 4 billion 1020 pixel movies, 
1,600 Netflix archives, and also 65,000 copies of Wikipedia. Today, the, data, the network also hosts nearly 140 petabytes of data and is actually set to host more than 3.4 million deals and growing. But that's just a sneak peek of our updates. So what exactly are people storing on Filecoin? Well, we have today 80 million copies of NFTs that are stored on IPFS and Filecoin. So if you use services like OpenSea, Rearable, you're already using Filecoin for NFTs as your backbone. Governments are also in on this action. This past winter, we announced a plan to store and maintain file, uh, New York City's open data on the decentralized web for the next five years. This project actually allows New York City at no cost to explore decentralized technology and how it can be an asset to the city to improve government operations. We also are working on a mission to preserve humanity's most important information, starting with the web, and that is in partnership with our friends at the Internet Archive. The Internet Archive has been documenting copies of the web for years and years, but we have been working um, with them to import massive data sets um, in enabling researchers and public interest groups to retrospectively analyze data after a change of administrations after a change of um, all kinds of things that you see on the web that disappear. We're also starting to see uh, a number of interests in the use of decentralized technology and content addressing in um, the movement of assets in places such as the metaverse. In fact, Filecoin is the only network that is built to scale with the metaverse. And storage, is, storage needs are actually expanding exponentially thanks to AR and VR. And also, um, we are one of the best systems capable of handling data sets, small to large, with um, us being a great solution. With clients, stored data, community members, and storage providers growing each day, um, we also have a number of needs from the Filecoin community in governance. And we have tons of protocol changes we've done with community members like yourself that has been debated by the community. In fact, we have 30 of these kind of Filecoin improvement proposals um, or FIPS that are done and can be contributed by anyone in the community. And these aren't simple changes. Many of these proposals can include uh, proposals for technologies on the cutting edge of Web3 world, from novel zero knowledge proof constructions, to creations, and deployment on FEM. We're also committed to building networks that are strong, secure, and sustainable. And we want to be at the forefront of the environmental movement and change among the crypto community. And so one of our initiatives, Filecoin Green, actually seeks to make the blockchain carbon neutral and in time carbon negative. And most importantly, we hope that we can also inspire others to come along with us uh, for this journey. The Filecoin community, thanks to all of you guys being part of it, has accomplished so much in the last 22 months since mainnet launch, and we're just getting started. We can't wait to hear not only from our speakers today, but also what you guys are all working on, what you're building on Filecoin, how you're leveraging decentralized storage, what you hope to see in the upcoming months, and also what you need to get there. We're here to help. Like I mentioned earlier, we've given over 230 developer grants and tons of funding to the community, to builders like yourself to, to continue building. So thanks again for being with us today and also this week. Um, the rest of this week is going to be epic. We're gonna have our largest storage provider meetup in Seoul tomorrow, and I hope to see many of you there. And now I will turn it back to June to announce our next speaker. Thank you so much, everyone.